Welcome back to Med Survival. In this video, we'll go over an easy mnemonic to remember the names and functions of acute phase reactants in just a couple of minutes. This will save you hours of lectures and memorization. So stay tuned until the end of the video to learn this trick. First, let's understand what acute phase reactants are. These are proteins whose serum concentrations increase or decrease by at least 25% during inflammatory states. This is a major pathophysiologic phenomenon that accompanies acute and chronic inflammation, as well as tissue injury. Acute phase reactants can have pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory effects during the acute phase response. The mnemonic to remember the list of acute phase reactants is coffee phase. This mnemonic ties the idea of coffee with a stimulating inflammatory phase, making it memorable. Let's break it down step by step. C is for C-reactive protein, CRP. CRP has both pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory effects. It rises and drops quickly, so daily monitoring can be helpful to gauge the effect of treatment. CO is for complement proteins. These proteins are pro-inflammatory and assist with chemotaxis, plasma protein exudation, and opsonization. F is for fibrinogen. Fibrinogen has anti-inflammatory effects, promoting clot formation and aiding in wound healing. Phi is for ferritin. Ferritin sequesters free iron, preventing bacteria from using it for growth. P is for procalcitonin. Procalcitonin is primarily elevated in bacterial infections, though the exact mechanism remains unclear. Letter H is for two acute phase reactants, haptoglobin and hemopexin. Both of these proteins act as antioxidants, clearing iron-containing hemoglobin and heme from circulation during inflammation. Letter A is for alpha-1 antitrypsin. This is another antioxidant. It inhibits superoxide anion generation, reducing tissue damage. Letter S is for serum amyloid A, SSA protein. SSA enhances adhesion and chemotaxis of inflammatory cells. E is for ESR, erythrocyte sedimentation rate. ESR is an indirect measure of the acute phase response, although it can be influenced by many factors. I've made a separate video discussing inflammatory and non-inflammatory causes of ESR. I also have more than 250 medical mnemonics and educational videos for medical students and practicing doctors. Check the link in the description below. The mnemonic ties these components together to help you easily recall their roles in the acute phase response. If you found these mnemonics useful, please hit the like button and drop a quick comment. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future medical mnemonics and educational videos. See you in the next video.